Hi, my name is Justin Yap. I'm an instructor in Big Brain Bank. Today, I'll be telling you about The Brain, your personal AI financial advisor, an app where it is AI-driven which focus in news and price. So, what is The Brain? The Brain is just like your personal AI financial advisor which able to answer your question, queries, wherever you are, whatever your situation or whenever you need information. It gives you real-time market data and statistical analysis to help you to make more accurate trading decisions instantly at your fingertips. So here in the brain, the first feature we look at is markets. In markets, we are covered with four categories, which is Forex, commodities, indices, and bonds. So let's look into Forex. Now, once I click Forex, all the pairing you see on the screen right now is my personal preferred pairing. Whatever you like, whichever you want, you can just click on the Add Instrument here. Type in any type of pairing or instruments or, or type of market, maybe oil, you just add it on. You go into your own watch list. So here, let's, let's look at an example of Euro USD. Click into Euro USD, you will see a red bar right now because this is live. Red bar, this is the opening price and this is the current price, which is a downtrend right now. And here in this chart, it's just a basic reference for you to know what is happening in the market. Slightly lower, you will see support resistance level, which is a very good thing in the brain because you do not need to draw your own line anymore. The brain will do the work for you. Market range over time. What are the market range, the low and high yesterday, last week, last month or last year is shown here. Now we look closer at the bottom. That is a typical hourly market movement. So what is this actually? Typical hourly market movement is to let you know which day and what time has the highest movement in the market. Uh, this one you can see is an average negative change. You can look at the positive, okay? Average positive change. Why we have positive and negative? Some people, some trader, they might prefer to go for long position, some did might go for short position. So you can look at the green or the red bar. So this let you know what time, what is the highest movement. Decide yourself so they can better idea when to start your trading. Bottom you will see significant movement threshold, right? And also trade ideas and economic calendar. I won't be talking about trade ideas right now because I'll come into more details later on and as well as the economic calendar. Okay, I'll let you know more details about it. Next feature we'll talk about is calendar. In calendar, you see on my screen, there are different, different types of news that will affect the pairing that you have chosen. Without spending so much time going to different, different pages or website, you can actually find all the news that related to your particular pairing in the brain. So here, let's look into my screen. Manufacturing PMI news. Click on it and you will see the previous value, expected value and the actual value. Also, the magnitude. How does this news affect the pairing of Euro? Okay, the Euro currency as expected. So it doesn't make much difference. But for my personal favorite in calendar feature is, let me show you, the perspective inside of the system. So in the brain, the perspective insight will tell you, will tell me what I need to know about this event or this news. As you can see here, range in the past three years, surprise range in the past one year and three months. Okay, this is what is shown to me. My second favorite is related instrument in calendar. So in calendar feature, related instrument is also what this event affect, what is affected by this particular news, Euro GBP, Euro USD. As you can see here, last price was 0.88, you know, go down by 0.25%, another one go down by 0.44%. So in calendar, my particular favorite is these two things, the perspective insight and related instruments. The next feature we'll look into is barometer. In my personal opinion, barometer means a summary of what the brain had already achieved or the conclusion the brain had done. Okay, so let's look into here. I'll look, I'll personally look into risk indicator when I go to barometer because 
risk indicator will help me determine or help me to get more idea when to trade. So what is risk indicator? As you can see here on the screen, there's a red bar which is a risk off, a green bar which is a risk on. Now risk off means it is not worth to take the risk. Whereas the green bar risk on means it is worth to take the risk. So for beginners, if you look at risk on and risk off, it really helps you to determine or make a decision whether or not you want to start the trade. Okay, so the second thing we look into, I will look into in barometer is action feed. Why? Why action feed? Because action feed is what all the news that have have uh, passed or things that I do not know. I missed out on news, for example. So here it's all recorded and you can actually click into the news in, in action feed to know what had happened earlier. Okay, here you can see uh, happened an hour ago, happened five minutes ago, everything is recorded here. The next feature I'll be showing you is trade ideas, which is our highlighted feature in the brain. Why is trade ideas our highlighted feature? Because is AI driven, which is focusing on news and price. So let me walk you through how trade idea works and how does the function goes. As you can see here, there are two trade ideas. The indicator shows that gold price is going down. Why is it going down? Every trade idea comes with a trade logic. Here it stated that this trade idea was detected after silver six consecutive red candles. So now we know the reason why gold is dropping is because of this trading idea. And from here, we can see not only the trade logic, we can also see the trade characteristics at the bottom. 2.0 reward and risk ratio. 59 minutes of trade duration, how long you can put on this trade. And what is the entry and exit price? or we call it stop loss or take profit at this particular bar. And my personal favorite is historical success. Trade idea gave me a historical success that helps me to know whether or not I want to put on this trade. Now, how does this 83% historical success comes out or calculated? We look at the second dotted. This historical success is five out of six times. So five time win, one time loss, and four time no significant move. So this is how we calculate, this is how the brain calculate the historical success. All right, so you can see more detail. As you can see here on the top, there's entry status and also trade status. So what is entry status? What is trade status? So basically entry status means if it is active, now it's expired, right? Now, if it's active, means you can open a position. If it is expired, means you are not allowed to open a position. Whereas trade status, if it is active, means this trade can still be on hold. If it is expired, then you have to manually close the position. So this is entry and active. As you can see here in my trade ideas, I have two trade ideas. Why? Sometimes we might have two, sometimes we have three, sometimes we have 10. But here in the filter, click on the filter, you can actually choose your own instruments, okay? Here in the filter, even not only the instrument of pairing, whereby you can also go for advance, you can set your historical success rate. Here, we are minimum historical success rate is 66%. You can even set it to 100% if you want, 100% then trade ideas will only give you historical success that is 100%. 99% also it won't show. So here I'll back to my 66%, which is default. So what risk you have? Because your success rate is already 66%. So here is it. It goes. I will show you a price driven already. I'll show you a news driven right now. Let me see if there's any news driven. Just a second. Oh, this is still price driven. So unfortunately, we do not have news driven yet. I'll show you later on, you don't mind. The next feature I'll be talking about will be risk on and risk off. Risk on and risk off, we talked about it just now in barometer, I suppose. Again, risk off means the trade is not worth 
taking risk, whereby risk on means the trade is worth taking risk. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, this is a risk on, risk off bar, red and green. This is very general, but to be more specific, you look into risk basket. Okay, all the instruments are here, and it will show you risk on or risk off. This risk basket is live, so it's calculated every millisecond. So it change all the time. All right. So basically, this is what you need to know in ROO feature. Next, I'll talk about is back tester. Now let's look at an example here on my screen. This is very obvious. The news-driven trade ideas was detected after analysis of a previous unemployment rate. So what does it affect? Here you can see it affected GBP USD to go down and USD JPY to go up. So what? How detailed do we know about it? Let me click into it and show you. Here you can see the previous trade of USD JPY. It is even stated here there is date, the time, and the day of how what happened and what is the chart. Everything is going on right here at the back tester. Also, we have a synthetic chart for USD JPY as well as trade characteristic that we have talked. I have talked about in the trade ideas earlier. One point two reverse rate. 36 minute trade duration, the historical success, everything is also here as we have, uh, I have talked about it just now in trade ideas. This is how the brain works. It's like our financial analyst or our personal advisor. It gives us so much detail in data and chart. Not only that, the back tester itself, we can backtrack our previous trade ideas and helps us with a better decision making. Now, no matter what you are doing, doesn't matter you are cooking, you are driving, you are doing gym, as long as the brain is switched on, you will get all the news that you need because it's AI driven. The brain is actually is, um, it's like a human, but instead it's an AI, which is an artificial intelligence. It will never leave you alone. Quick, I do remember how uncertain and how fearful I felt. Back. Now imagine you, when you are doing a trading, when you are trading, this is going to accompany you and it will not leave you alone. Trust me, it will never leave you alone as this is artificial intelligence, right? Now, not only that, if you have, have, have see, it will never leave you alone. I haven't finished talking yet and it's keep coming out. So the second feature that I will show you will also not leave you alone. Just imagine, the brain will talk to you. Hi there, I am the Brain by Big Brain Bank, your personal AI financial advisor. It's great knowing you. Can I be of assistance? You can enable me from the menu bar. Not only that, you can also switch to a guy's voice, as in. Hi there, I am the Brain by Big Brain Bank, your it looks like we're all set. This is how the brain talks to us. It will update us on economic events, trade ideas, market movement, as well as exchange opening and closing. We may also need another video to highlight the common challenges and hassles that traders usually face, having to refer to different tools that don't really sync with one another. They also waste time and effort trying to make the right trading decision swiftly within tight timelines. In fact, it's truly a revelation to explore the brain's multi-varied features and functions. It's designed to offer superior user experience as the interface flow seamlessly to provide all the important trading strategies with just a few slides of the fingertips. That's all from me. I hope to see you again next time. Thank you and goodbye.